Monday, April the 26th, 2021. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, verses 1 to 18. The apostles and the brothers in Judea heard that the pagans too had accepted the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, the Jews criticized him and said, So you have been uh, visiting the uncircumcised and caring with eating with them, have you? Peter, in reply, gave them the details point by point. One day, when I was in the town of Jaffa, he began, I fell into a trance as I was praying and had a vision of something like a big sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners. This sheet reached the ground quite close to me. I watched it intently and saw all sorts of animals and wild beasts, everything possible that could walk, crawl or fly. Then I heard a voice that said to me, Now Peter, kill and eat. But I answered, Certainly not, Lord. Nothing profane or unclean has ever crossed my lips. And a second time the voice spoke from heaven. What God has made clean... You have no right to call profane. This was repeated three times before the whole of it was drawn up to heaven again. Just at that moment, three men stopped outside the house where we were staying. They had been sent from Caesarea to fetch me and the spirit told me to have no hesitation about going back with them. The six brothers here came with me as well and we entered the man's house. He told us he had seen an angel standing in his house, who said, Send to Jaffa and fetch Simon, known as Peter. He has a message for you that will save you and your entire household. I had scarcely begun to speak when the Holy Spirit came down on them in the same way as it came on us at the beginning, and I remembered that the Lord had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I realized then that God was giving them the identical thing he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And who was I to stand in God's way? This account satisfied them and they gave glory to God. God, they said, can evidently grant even the pagans the repentance that leads to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response or is Psalm. The response is, My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Think often of God by day, by night, in your business and even in your diversions. He is always near you and with you. Leave him not alone. Amen. Brother Lawrence, 1611 to 1691. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the a reading from the Gospel according to Saint John, chapter ten, verses one to ten. Jesus said, "I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate." what gets in some other way is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hear his voice. One by one he one by one he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow because they know they know his voice. They never follow a stranger but run away from him. They do not recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, 
I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves and brigands, but the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The the Gospel according to St. John. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.